I'm Rosemary Zipor, and I'm one of the speakers at the Senior Law Day held annually by the Colorado Bar Association. I talk about elder mediation because court should be a last resort. Families have a lot of disputes, and most of them have nothing to do with the legal system at all, such as when should mom stop driving? or when should dad go into a skilled nursing center. These are issues that don't involve legal matters or law and should not be left to a judge. Going to court and having a judge who doesn't know your family decide things for you is really not the way we've done this in American history. You know, we didn't always have judges going all over the country and a person from the community would usually be chosen by the parties to help them resolve disputes. That's what mediation is. It's a neutral party who is coming in to help a family resolve a problem. Whatever that problem is. It could be legal. It could be financial. It could be just a family matter. Who has the checkbook? Who's going to pay mom's bills? What if one of the siblings has been taking care of the parents and it's just burned out? Caregiver burnout can be a huge issue. Is there another family member going to step in? Does mom and dad need to go to a skilled nursing facility or assisted living? What's going to happen at the end of their lives if mom and dad have not left a will, a power of attorney, or a guardianship? These are all issues that can be resolved by mediation. The advantages of mediation are many, but the main one, I think, is that the parties get to create a solution. It's not something that's imposed by someone else or a judge or a lawyer. It's created by the family so that it meets the family's needs, not the judge's needs, not the legal system's needs, the family's needs. And in that vein, mediation helps families get back together. It repairs relationships and forms relationships so that the family can go forward together. This doesn't mean that everybody's going to hold hands and sing kumbaya, but it does mean that you can reach resolutions without going to court. Another huge advantage of alternate dispute resolution, as it's sometimes called, is that it's less expensive. It may not look like it is up front, but alternate dispute resolution on the whole costs anywhere between 25 and 50 percent less than going to court. You're paying one or two mediators to sit with a family for a couple of days. Whereas if you go to a lawyer, and I am a lawyer, I can say this, it costs hours of attorney time to prepare for trial. It costs you in attorney's fees, witness fees, to go to trial for two or three days can cost upwards of $50,000. Mediation for two days at the upper end of the scale in Denver at this time in 2011 would cost you approximately three to four thousand dollars. You can see it's a much less expensive way to go. Unfortunately, I have seen families who have spent the entire estate on fighting when they could have resolved their issues through mediation and saved some of the assets that they were so eager to get in the first place. There may be a legal component to many issues facing a family with their elderly parents. But another big one that is resolved through mediation is communication. How many of us think that if we talk louder to our mom or dad that that would resolve a communication issue? Not true. The elderly have a different perception of what's being said through hearing loss, through loss of sight to macular degeneration, and through their life experiences, which are very different from ours, the baby boomers. So this is another problem that can be taken care of through mediation. Now there are myths about mediation, such as it has to be court ordered. Not true. People can hire a mediator to help them resolve their problems without ever having to go to court at all. A mediation agreement is enforceable just like any other contract once it's signed. So a court does not have to be involved and it's better if a court is not involved. Remember court should be a last resort 
not a first resort. Your day in court may only be 15 minutes. Take the time to really talk to your family members and have a mediator or alternate dispute resolution. You're going to find it much more satisfying. If you want to know more, you can check out the Senior Law Handbook. I and former Judge John Leopold wrote a chapter in the book about family disputes and senior mediation. You can also attend the annual Senior Law Days to find out more not only about mediation, but all other topics that affect seniors in our community. Thank you.